Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this welding decorating component in Creo Parametric. So you must have seen this in your railing design in fabrication work. So let's design this part and to do this, go to new, part, solid, assign the name, uncheck use default template, say ok and from here you select a metric template. So you have variety of templates here, you choose a metric template, you can go with this, this or this. I will go with this, this is my metric template and I will say ok. Now I will start this part with a revolve feature onto the front datum plane, normal. I will first place a datum center line somewhere here. Then I will draw a rectangle somewhere here. I will mirror it with this reference. Now the gap between this line and this line, this is 100. Now this dia, this is 20 and this thickness, this is 5. Say OK and OK. Now I will go for extrude, I will select this face, I will draw a rectangle, so I will go for center rectangle, I will place a rectangle like this. Now this is 10, say ok, flip it downwards, uncheck remove material and then this value is 25, say ok. Mirror it with top datum plane, say ok. Now the next feature which is a sweep feature, so for that first I will create a path onto the front datum plane, sketch, say normal. Now here first I will place a center arc, so I will go to the arc, I will select a center arc, I will select the center somewhere here. And then I'll draw an arc just like this. Now you go to reference, select this as a reference and this as a reference. Then one more arc starting from here till here, just like this. Same way, one more arc this side, just like this. So the center should lie on this reference. Now the dimension. So this is radius 60. Then this gap from here till here, this is 7. Then this radius, this is radius 20. So the sketch is done, just say ok. Now you go to sweep, select this path, go for sketch, normal. Now here you draw a center rectangle, somewhere here, just like this. This you make it 2, say ok. And ok. Now select this feature, go for pattern, go for axis pattern, select the center axis, 360 degree, make it 20 items and say ok. Then you go to editing, go for wrap. Now here you first select this geometry and then go for twist. Change the twist axis, click it here, again here. Now this angle, you take it 90 degree. Now when you twist it, it twist the entire length. But it should only twist the geometry in between this face and this face. So to control it, go to murky and here you can control it by three different ways. The easiest way is offset, 
so go to offset now when you go to offset you can set the offset value from these two ends so here i'll take this value as this gap from this face to this face and from this face to this face so this gap is 25 here so i'll take this value as 25 this side and 25 this side now you see the twist is happening in between this face and this face so only this geometry is getting twisted now just say okay and the part is done so this was the welding decorating component in creo parametric and i hope this video will be helpful now you can like this video and subscribe to this channel to support the channel and i'll see you in my next video thank you